with my uh, 100 litre. If you're a fan of the um, channel and you've watched uh, any of the past videos during the winter time, you see I carry two bags, quite a lot of the first stuff, about 30 kilograms usually on average. Um, um, which I know is stupid, but it's usually because I got about 10 beers in one bag or whatever, and you know, I usually take three bottles of water with me as well and count a pop or two. So that's that's quite a lot of weight in, in just liquid, which I know is stupid, but I like my luxuries, so that's just my type of camping. If I was going on a big hike and all that, don't get me wrong, I'd just take like a little bottle of whiskey or something, you know, get rid of all the weight. Or, but anyway, drink responsibly. So, right, back to it. This is the, uh, it's the snug pack. I got the 100 litre Bergen, um, and basically it's uh, the main compartment, the main compartment here, this is 70 litres, and then you get these two extra side pockets uh, if you go for the extra option, these are 15 litres each, um, these can zip off quite easily, just zip them off, and then you can just get rid of them. Um, if you don't want them uh, for, for your summertime, you know. Um, personally, I really love them so I can fit all my cooking gear and food in one pocket alone, or beers in the other pocket. Then the middle pocket I've got just for my camping stuff, and I love it. I absolutely, <laughs> I genuinely really adore it. Um, 100 litres does sound like a lot, uh, it is, and I do fully use it and hang stuff on it as well, so it's probably 100 plus litres when I use it. Um, but it's perfect for a winter bag in my opinion um, it's capable of carrying the weight that I definitely put in it um, it's completely waterproof so far uh, I haven't been caught in any major downpours with it but I've, I've been in some persistent rain and it's it's very um, very robust canvas material all with uh, waterproof zips and everything and I don't know if you can see inside it, but it's like a waterproof inner lining on it uh, all the way. Uh, so far, nothing of mine has got wet in there at all. And that's even when I put it on the floor just to sit for a while. Uh, no water's got in. It's got an abundance of pockets, three different pockets alone on the on the hood. Uh, one uh, net pocket, which I, I have to have all my gadgets in here. I, I just like them on show through the net so I can see, oh yeah, there's my torch, grab it easier. Um, then it's got a couple of pockets behind it, which I, I tend to keep my uh, toilet rolls in. Um, toilet rolls? <laughs> toilet roll, singular. Yeah, even if I'm going for more than two nights, I don't think I need more than one. Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, and my first aid kit and everything there, there in my net. Um, like I said, I've got some sides and then that's it for me, it's brilliant. In, this, in the summertime, I'll give, I will get rid of these um, two side uh, saddles i'm not sure exactly what they're called um see i've, I've just undone that here now and then i'll have to zip that back on because i'll forget um yeah I'll, I'll take these two side saddles off um for the summertime because obviously my summer sleeping bag is so small compared to this it's just crazy um but yeah all the lids on the pockets fold over to make it completely waterproof so you get nothing there's no water ingress at all it's just fantastic fantastic bag um, how much was it I think it was 120 quid all in with the two side pockets it's two side baffles if you don't want them it's, it's probably the I don't know around 80 90 quid I don't know <laughs> I bought the more expensive option don't be lazy, uh, have a look. love it highly recommend it Brilliant. Oh, and, and look how camo and blend, it blends in so well. Well, not with the garlic behind me, but it does blend in with the woodland, trust me.